All right, let's give this a whirl. Um, we are going to try some elementary row operations on a matrix. So um, you're going to need to use these elementary row operations to uh, when you're when you're using matrices to solve systems of linear equations. Uh, you can write the the system uh, in matrix form uh, rather than you know several equations. And then you can do these operations on the matrix until the matrix takes a certain form. And then when it takes that certain form, then the answer will be there right before your very eyes. It'll be very magical. But uh, in order to do that, you need to learn um, what you're allowed to do to matrices, um, how you're allowed to change them. And this is like solving a puzzle. It's pretty fun. Um, so there's three elementary row operations, the so three basic things you can do to the rows of a matrix. So actually, let me just point out what the rows are. Um, that's a row, that's a row, and that's a row. So there's three rows in this matrix A. Um, OK, so there's three things that you're allowed to do. You can swap two rows. You know, maybe row one and row three. I'll just, I'll just switch them. Um, you can multiply a row by a scalar, a scalar multiplication. Uh, you know, multiply. You know, maybe I'm going to multiply every element in row one by the number of five. Okay, you can multiply by anything except for zero. Um, so yes, um, that's multi. So that's the second one you can do, and then you can add um, a row. You can add a multiple of one row to another row, and uh, and that multiple can actually just be one. Um, so, you can, so you can add a row, the values of, a, of one row to another row. Or you could um, combine multiplication and addition. You could, you could, you could add um, you know, row one multiplied by two to row three. And I'll, I'll go through each one of these with this matrix um, and show you the, the, th the things you can do. Um, um, yeah, so let's. I'll just show you an, an example or two of, of each one of these. Um, so swapping two rows. Um, I want to. Oh, by the way, let me actually write here. Um, we would call call this um, row one, row two, row three. Okay. Um, so, yes, let's swap, I don't know, let's just swap row one and row three, like I said before. So, um, we're going to write our, our new matrix, our modified matrix, and, um, we'll just draw some arrows to show what we're doing. It's important when you do these operations to, to make note of what you're doing, because it'll, it'll get pretty messy, and, you need to be able to follow your own logic, and someone else needs to be able to follow your, you know, what you've done. So, I'm moving row three up to where row one is, and I'm moving row one down to where row three is. I'm just swapping the rows. So, um, row one I'm going to put in row three here. So two, three, one, and then row one or row three I'm going to put up in the to make that row one. So, I've just swapped. Swap these two rows. So you can um, you can swap any two rows in a matrix that's allowed. And why would you do that? Well, when you're solving um, matrices, trying to figure out, um, you know, well anyway, uh, you'll get into that in another lesson. Okay, uh, the, you'll just need to know this tool. So, okay, and then uh, row uh, row two didn't go anywhere, so it, it's it's where it is. Okay. All right, just be very careful with each step, and I'll try to I'll try to be careful. Once. Okay, uh, so that's swapping two rows. That's an example of that. Um, we can multiply a row by a non-zero scalar. So uh, you know you're not allowed to multiply by zero. That kind of ruins things, but anything else is fine. Um, multiply a row by a non-zero scalar. So let's um, let us. Let's just multiply row two um, by three, let's say. 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw. All right, so we're gonna write our matrix again, and then we're gonna draw an arrow that says we're multiplying. Basically, we're taking rate, uh, row two and multiplying it by three. So uh, first, let's write the first row one. You know, nothing happened to it, and then we're multiplying each element in. Uh, row 2 by 3, so 7 times 3 is 21, 1 times 3 is 3, uh, 8 times 3 is 24, and then we didn't do anything to row 3, so it stays what it is. All right. Um, now, let me actually rewrite the matrix as it is so far over here. So the first row, 1, 4, Five, and then we've got twenty-one, three, three, and twenty-four, and two, three, one. Okay, um, so I can add a, a multiple of one row to another. Um, first, let me just add what you know. Um, I'm just going to add row uh, 1 and row 3. Um, so I'm going to add row 1 to row 3. Actually, all right, let me back up. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to change is row 3. So I'm going to rewrite the other rows as they are. Uh, Okay, so row three, um, let me draw an arrow, and I'm going to show that I'm adding um, row three. I'm I'm adding the values of row one to it. I could say times one times r one. That's not necessary, but I'm showing you it's, it's adding a multiple of one row. So uh, um, row three. So um, so two, so we're taking row three as it is now, and we're adding the values of of row one to it, and then making that the new row three. So two plus one is three, three plus four is seven, one plus five is six. All right, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you one more where you can kind of combine multiplication and addition, uh, where the multiple is not one, it's you know something else. Um, so let us do, let's change. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I am going to add. Um, here's what, I'm gonna mess around with row three again, and I'm gonna say we're we're taking row three and we're adding two times row one to it. Okay, so we're. Uh, Okay, so that we're just gonna um, modify row three. So row one and two, we'll just leave as they are. One, four, five, twenty-one, three, twenty-four. Now the new values of of row three are gonna be the the old row three plus two times row one. So let me just do some work over to the side. Here's row three as it is now. Um, we're gonna add. 2 times row 1. So first let's do 2 times row 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. Um, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. Now I'm going to add these together. 5, 15, 16. And so those are the new values of my row 3. 5, 15, and 16. Okay, so this says I've, I've, I take um, so my new value of, of row three is, is is the old row three plus two times row one. So that's adding a multiple of one row to another. I'm I'm adding a multiple of row one to row three to make the new row three. So pay attention to which rows you're actually modifying, which ones you aren't. The ones you aren't, just write them down first. Make t you know so you don't forget that they're just staying what they are. Uh, and then. Um, be careful when you make modifications. Maybe do some work to the side if it's 
Um, hard to do this in your head. You could do it in your head, you know. 3 um, plus 1 times 2 is 5. 7 plus 4 times 2. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 7 is 15. You know, you can do it in your head, but if, if it's hard to keep track of, do some work on this side. Um, so here, we, so we've taken uh, this matrix through, what, you know, four different steps of modification. Uh, we swapped uh, row um, swapped row 1 and row, row 3. Sorry, I'm kind of blanking out here. Um, and then uh, we multiplied row 2 by 3 and then we added row 3 and 1 to get the new row 3 then we added uh, row 3 plus 2 times row 1 to get the new row 3 so it's gone through a series of steps um, this matrix is not what it began as and what you'll use this for is you'll you'll set up matrices that represent systems of linear equations and then you'll do these row operations but uh, here I'm just randomly, I just, you know, with no real purpose, I, I just randomly performed operations. When you're solving them, um, you'll, you're going to be aiming to have certain kinds of numbers in certain places. And then once you do, it's kind of like a puzzle. Once you do, then the answers will be, will be obvious. So, all right, th there you go. Swapping two rows, multiplying row by a non-zero scalar, and adding a multiple of one row to another.